the term threat assessment? A threat assessment is conducted when a person threatens to commit an act of violence. A lot of good information. The speakers and presenters were knowledgeable, uh, and they provided us with a lot of helpful information and tools that we can use and actually take back to the campuses and implement immediately. Listening to the perspective from uh, a combined collaborative effort, we're all in this together. It's right. not just one group of people that are going to make our schools safer, that are going to protect our children. It's all of us working together as a collaborative network. And shifted from shots fired to a hostage barricade. You know, when you hear John Michael Keyes from right? I Love You Guys Foundation or Carly Posey, who, whose family was at uh, Sandy Hook, you know, those really helped to uh, accentuate why we're here, you know, and, and how important it is. It's real. You know, you can talk about theories and what ifs all the time, but when you see those people and what they've been through, and uh, have talked through and the lessons learned, it just all comes, comes back and it motivates you for a long period of time to do what you can to keep our school safe. Such a great facility, the people were so nice and helpful. With the new collaboration with the DPS and the, uh, the schools lately, this year, we keep on being bombarded with this information, but a lot of that lingo, that crace lingo, hasn't been part of our vocabulary. And so coming here and being able to go to a section specifically targeting crace and how we, we want to present that to either the community or the teachers, uh, it, it gave us some information so that we can go off of. I would hope that one takeaway would be is that everyone walks away understanding that safety is our number one problem.